welcome back to the Literacy Channel. Let's explore how we can build on books to keep our remote literacy instruction purposeful and engaging. Over the past year, our read-alouds have proven their importance in facilitating multiple learning opportunities through remote or online lessons. The remote read-aloud creates opportunities to practice lots of critical literacy skills in purposeful ways. Quality picture books also allow children to strengthen those oral language and critical thinking skills. Maximise learning potential and revisit texts on multiple occasions. Follow our motto, read, revisit, repeat. Familiarity with text is important, particularly for word recognition, vocabulary development, reinforcement and developing reading comprehension skills. There are so many incredible supports for online read-alouds available now. We've included many of our favourites in this digital bookcase. When you download your PDF, click on the links to uncover hundreds of excellent read-alouds and resources within. Maximise the learning potential of your read-aloud text by linking it with a non-fiction text. This enables the children to learn more, to make connections, all while developing their interest in another genre of writing. Click on our examples to find links to virtual copies of the texts. So what can I do with a text like Oh No George? Well, let's think about our literacy continuum. What about starting by connecting it to some phonological awareness? Move on to our phonics, high frequency words arising from the text, word families, maybe some conversation points, connecting it again to what's happening in the story. Plenty of opportunities for contextualised vocabulary development and don't forget critical thinking and a comprehension strategy like predicting. So many skills but all in a purposeful contextualised manner. But how can I really connect this to phonological awareness? Well, quite easily really. Use the language from the actual plot. That way, your focus language for word recognition, rhyming, syllables, onset and rhyme, and exploring phonemes is completely relatable. It doesn't have to stop there. Bring in some more writing genres, recounts, creative writing, persuasive writing, report writing, a great opportunity to bring in that informational text. A text like Oh No George brings in plenty of opportunities for poetry writing, even exploring the handwriting or the type of font that the author has used, and not forgetting narrative writing. Make use of some fabulous extension activities by exploring resources like the official book trailer, the story behind the making of the text, and even an interview with Chris the author. Let's not forget our literacy learning can span the curriculum and our read-alouds are the perfect entry point to lots of lovely curriculum integration. Taking Oh No George for example, we have opportunities for maths, SESE, art, music and Gaelic. When working with a focused text for a read-aloud, it's always a nice idea to connect it to another text with similar themes or characters, like I Want My Hat Back and The Great Paper Caper. This provides young readers with opportunities to make comparisons and text-to-text -text connections. Once again, a high-quality picture book like I Want My Hat Back provides so many natural opportunities for vocabulary development, phonological awareness, phonics, high-frequency words, word families, oral language development, a wealth of reading comprehension skills, and of course, with illustrations like John Classen's Critical Thinking. Again, use the text carefully to plot plenty of clever opportunities for developing phonological awareness throughout the experience. When you choose a high quality picture book, the extension activities are endless. No busy work necessary, just plenty of purposeful, engaging literacy learning opportunities. The toughest task will be choosing what to keep and what to leave out. Whatever the picture book, maximise the cross-curricular learning experiences. Let the picture book be your launch pad. When thinking about integration, don't forget play. Every read aloud brings its own potential for play. Here is just a snippet of the play opportunities evolving from a text like I Want My Hat Pack. Every single page within a picture book brings its own learning potential. Create captions, create dialogue, create compositions. Compare read aloud texts, invite discussion, draw comparisons and make connections. 
We know a remote read aloud experience isn't the same as face to face, but it is still a powerful opportunity to connect with your class. Keep efforts for engagement simple and fuss free. Yes or no reactions, multiple choice answers with finger signals, shared writing with annotating functions, having a say even in the choice of text by choosing or voting. Draw attention to illustrations through find and point. And if the children are writing or drawing in response to your read aloud, give it a purpose by ensuring they can present it or show it on the screen, a virtual author's chair if you like. Download your copy of the slides, share, circulate it and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and connect with us on social media. Thanks for watching.